my name's Sam, and we are back here in Veronaville. We are in the Cap household, specifically. The, the first Cap household. There's a lot of Cap households in this town. Like, there's a lot of Monty households. And we are now starting round two with Veronaville. Of course, Veronaville, uh, like I've said before, it goes by a lot faster than... Uh, our Strange View series because there's so few households and it's kind of refreshing for it to be like a little bit of a smaller town to deal with. S so <laughs> I loaded the lot. I was having some issues with pink flashing. We're hoping that it's fixed right now. I, I did some things but I reloaded the lot with the intention of just kind of letting it play for a little bit and just seeing if the flashing appeared and then something started to happen. So, um, currently the household is, compri is comprised of Consort, uh, Juliet, and Hermia. Now, Hermia and Juliet have just gone to school. They go to private school. You can see the little fancy icon here with the little money symbol, because they're a rich, fancy kids, apparently. So they're in private school. And then, um, Consort. Now, Consort is looking very pale. I think he was in, he was on somebody's lot during the during winter time and he ended up cold and so he's very pale i think maybe it was actually at the party we had at the university however we are here also i realized i gotta fix the season i think because i had just removed these guys into the the house a while back i gotta fix the season anyway <laughs> so we have this going on uh patrizio monti was wandering by uh consort was playing with their cat, Noodle, who they apparently adopted on their own. Looks like it's an elderly cat. His name's Noodle. Uh, and then he decided to stop playing with the cat to beat up Patrizio. So I guess we'll see how this goes. See who wins. Uh, Consort looks like a vampire. <laughs> He's so pale. I'm just gonna fix the season while we're uh, waiting here. They're supposed to be in season four. Hopefully this behaves itself. There we go. Now we're in spring. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay. Oh, all right. Consort won against Patrizio. Well, that's something. Just keep walking, Patrizio. You're almost there. You go. All right, Consort. Maybe we're gonna have you go take like a bath or something. You're just looking really pale and and weird. I don't think we've had a chance to actually play in this made over cap house yet. Cause last time we played, we would have played just in the OG house. Um, so this is kind of exciting to try it out. Uh, what? intelligence and the crowd goes wild hermia has worked her spelling mojo to become the all sim city spelling bee champion grade school fame and one logic point await hermia as the new queen bee okay now, oh i'm gonna lock hermia wants to go steady with someone now i think it was her that used to be dating puck if i'm not mistaken i get i always get it confused I'm pretty sure, and then some drama happened and they split up. I don't know that there's a whole lot of Sims in her real her, her age range. She's three days away from becoming an adult. And then Juliet's only two days away. So these guys are going to be going to college very soon. Um, we've got Actually, I'm going to lock in this. It's interesting. Juliet wants to go out, but also wants to sneak out. Which the difference, of course, is go out is she asks for permission and successfully gets it. And then to sneak out is when she doesn't get permission and she goes out anyway against like her, her parent or in this case, case her grandparents' wishes. It's going to be kind of um, interesting to see when we just end up with Consort on his own. I don't know if it'll be boring. <laughs> Are we going to make... How do we make Consort interesting? He's, he's really going to town right now. Okay. Neighbors, neighbors have come to welcome you to the neighborhood. Yeah, it's because I moved these guys into the made-over house. So they're... Who is here? What is this? Who is this? Talon. These are random townies. Okay. Hermia is looking at herself in the mirror. That's great. She wants to get a job in the oceanography career. That's interesting. Does she have like a lifetime want? Not really. Not for that particularly. Stop. I don't know who... How about you do your homework? Just do your homework for now. Juliet, come here and do homework. Stop playing your video games. Ask to leave. Oh gosh, here comes Patrizio again. Patrizio, why are you cackling running across there? 
Well, we can see where Romeo learned this from. Wasn't it Romeo that did this once too on this lot? The breathing. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay, bye. I love how he just runs right by, by consort. Also, look, it's... Also, her her antlers are still screwed up. But it's, um... Bottom taking Flood for a walk. That was very wholesome. With her poor little glitched antlers. Where are you going, consort? What are you doing, consort? He's trying to talk to Flood. Stop. They're walking by, consort. Okay, is this guy leaving? Hmm. Also, I don't think we have cat things in our house. This cat's just staying out on the, the front lawn. Is he hungry and stuff? Yeah. Maybe we need to get some cat stuff. I'll just put it there. There we go. We got some cat things. Consort, come here and fill the bowl. Come fill a bowl. See if we can get this cat to come inside. He seems to be just staying out here. Maybe just because he doesn't have anything to do in the house. Seems kind of fitting that he would just have an old cat that's like turning gray. What are these two doing up here? Okay, they're fighting over the computer. Isn't there like stuff? Yeah, there's stuff down here. Come here, play with things in the basement. Is she the one that's into painting? I think Hermia likes to paint, if I don't... If I'm not mistaken. Who's got the more creativity? Yeah, it's Hermia's got more creativity skill. Also, um, I did give Consort... I gave everybody their... Any, anybody who's an adult or older their secondary aspirations. So, Consort's is actually family. <clears throat> His main is, of course, Fortune, and he ended up rolling a family aspiration for a secondary, so that's kind of interesting. What do you have a want? He wants to buy a garden plot. You could buy a garden plot for you, consort. That could work out here. I just don't know what to do with this old man. we got to do some stuff. You could fit, like, a garden over here. There we go. we got a nice little, little garden plot. What do you want to do now? Earn some money? He wants to do some writing and stuff, so maybe we'll have him do some little gardening or some writing. Um, and I also mentioned it uh, previously in, I think, our last episode that um, these two had their um, gender preferences rolled and Hermia ended up straight and Juliet ended up gay. So that was interesting. Not that we have a lot of options in town. Especially since they're so close to aging up. Like, there's Hal Cap. Her is like for- oh wait, not- yeah, no, that would not work because they're both Caps. They are cousins. Duh. That's the hard part. Everybody's related. Who's this? Oh, that's right. We've got some of the- she's got- oh, that's interesting. She has two bolts with Gavin Newsom, who of course is now technically now a, a, a Monty by adoption. I wonder if she could call him. She seems to be very interested in her uh, sister's gameplay. Also, she's she's getting... She was hungry. What happened? Yeah, she is still hungry. Why did he serve these this way? That's a weird choice. Oh my gosh, Julia will grow it in one day at just 6 p.m. Yeah, so Juliet's probably going to go off to college pretty quick here, unfortunately. We're not going to get to like hang out with her too much. And then Hermia's only two days. Wow, Consort has a lot of enemies. <laughs> Consort has a lot of enemies. He's thinking about one right now. You're a very angry little man, Consort. Very angry little man. Okay. Now that she has... Can you, are you going to clean those up? Yes. Is there a phone in this house? I sw did I forget to put a phone in the house? How, how could I do such a thing? I always forget phones. Constantly. Let's invite over. Let's... Oh, no. I'd rather play my Shuno with a pack of llamas, says Gavin Newsom as we try to invite him over. What if we just call and chat? <laughs> She's just gonna call him back like, well, hold on a sec. Let me, let me consider. Let me see if I can talk you into it. <laughs> She's just harassing the poor kid on the phone. But yeah, it seems as though Romeo... And Juliet are a thing of the past. I wonder, is, is Romeo still... Yeah, she still is very mad at Romeo for cheating on her with her cousin Miranda. 
who of course has now um, been gr off and graduated college and everything. Okay, uh, it's getting a little late. How about you put away the phone there, ma'am? And put away the leftovers for me. She's gonna go to the bathroom and go to sleep. Oh boy, her phone is ringing. Can I answer? Who's calling? Who just called? Oh, it's Bottom Summer Dream. Why did Bottom Summer Dream call? Is she friends with somebody in the house? She's not really. Also, I hear a cat doing things. Where is the cat? Oh my gosh. He's ruining this old fancy chair. Alright, we don't need to talk to Bottom, but we need to go to bed. It's late. You have school. Oh, okay. Consort has decided to wake up. What is this? He wants to- s I love how one of his wants is to scold Noodle. And he has fears of Noodle destroying things and scratching things. Well, you see, Consort. Are you already scolding? No, he's tossing in air. I'm assuming that's not a scolding technique. Can we- can we scold? Ugh, it's too late to scold him for ruining the, uh, antique chair. I guess Consort didn't see it yet. Wait. <gasps> he has a want to ask a sim on a date. Wait. Our our boring consort time might be saved. Also, why do you have these ugly purple pajamas, consort? He's an old man with weird sleeping hours, apparently. I'm gonna have him take a shower, and we'll have him work on his novel. i work away at his little novel. And then, I don't know, who is consort gonna go on a date with? We have- we'll have to just find a townie, maybe? Imagine if you could actually go- like, convince Miss Crumplebottom to go on a date. Like, that would be the perfect sim for Consort. Okay, what is- apparently Consort didn't have a, a um, novel in the works, so we're just gonna make one up. What is it gonna be? What, what kind of- I don't even know what this is. It's like a dude with glasses and a tie. You know what? Consort's gonna write books about how to be like a business pro. That's what Consort's gonna write about. Get a clock in. You gotta be, you gotta be tough. You gotta, uh, <laughs> you gotta have your lunch. You gotta clock out, <laughs> and then you get paid. <laughs> that's how, that's how to work. Consort's guide on how to do a job. <laughs> how to do job by Consort. His inspiration for his book are his little worker ants, his little pet ants working away over here. Okay, Mr. Consort, uh, he took a break from writing, and now it is morning time. It's 6 a.m., and both the girls woke up. Um, what am I going to do with you guys? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, apparently that was an accepted form of, of morning. Morning greeting. Oh, no, the cat. I can hear the cat. Oh, my God. Consort. Get in here. He's gonna ruin this nice fancy sculpture. Scold. We need to scold. He wants to scold Cat. Come here. Consort. Unfortunately, Consort lost his want to do a, um, like a good painting. I mean, not a good painting, a good book. There we go. We saved the sculpture. Look at that. Consort wants to buy new clothes. He wants to get a car. What's he want? Buy oh, buy a scratching post. You know what, Consort? You are right. We need a scratching post. There we go. We went and put a scratcher right here. Uh, yeah, let's save the game. Now, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but Consort got another, like, want that looks like a flirty want. So he wants to buy some new clothes and find somebody to go on a date with, be flirted with? Oh my gosh. I think when the girls go to school, we'll take him to, like, a community lot and buy him some clothes. Buy him a fresh new suit and find him a lady to go on a date with. That would be fun. Oh, the bus is here. Ladies. Also, he needs to take care of his trees outside. It looks like Consort's aspiration is a little bit low. I notice he wants to buy a car. I thought maybe that would be a good... I don't know... Um, I mean, we have plenty of space here. I bet we could fit something here. And they do have money, so... Let's see. Soften it up a little bit. Oops. Let's see. What kind of car is Consort going to drive? What is this? Oh, this is a custom car I downloaded. It's like the the one that they fix up from free time, but like different looking. I think that's the idea. I feel like Consort would just have like this kind of car in like black. 
We have a black. We don't have a black. We have a blue. The maroon. We have a maroon. Pretty basic. Pretty basic stuff. I hope he doesn't lose any of his other... Okay, he just wants to earn money. Okay. We're gonna have you walk to a lot, sir. Walk to a community lot. We're not gonna bring the, the cat with us because he'll just rip everything up. I think we want to go... This is the one that I fixed up a little bit and it has a clothing store. If I cor am correct. But he ends up having to go over to the, to the Montague side or the Monty side of things. I feel like Concert should find another older lady instead of a younger lady, but I don't know that there's a lot of, like, older women townies around. Or if any at all. Oh, look at this. Who's this? It's Dora. Wait a minute. Just as I load I love how I loaded into the lot and we're looking right at <laughs> this character. This is Dora Otimus, which is the grandmother of the Otimus kids. Like, um, David Otimus is who he just... He wants to buy jewelry now. He got rid of his want for clothes, but we're still gonna buy him new clothes. I'm gonna have him greet Dora. Let's just see. She's probably like one of the only elderly townies we have around. He's still arriving. Are you here, sir? Yes. He has arrived. I actually really like this lot. Who is this and why are they yelling? Wait, this is an old person too. Wait, this lady's walking like she's elderly. Right? She doesn't look elderly. What is it? It's like all the elderly folks are here right now. <laughs> Thor has a very unique face, the Otimus. Oh, we have chemistry! Wait a minute. We have to chat. We have to chat with Dora for a minute here. This is ridiculous. We have three bolts! Consort has three bolts with Dora Otimus. I cannot. <laughs> she's not with anybody. She's, she's single as far as I recall. I love that we loaded into the lot and just there she was. <laughs> I'd like to buy Dora a new outfit too. Not right now, obviously, but this one's a little ugly. Look at this, there's another old lady! Here I am saying like, oh, there's not a lot of elderly folks. Is it automatically send like folks who are like similar to your sim's age? Wow, that went over really well. We're gonna go buy something new. Let's go buy an everyday wear. We're gonna buy him a slick new outfit. Something that's a little better looking than the one he's wearing. Excuse us, sir. Mr. Uh, Mercutio Monty in our way. So rude. I hope my game doesn't crash. Sometimes the, like, change clothing and change appearance makes it crash. It'll be very sad if we lose our progress with Dora. Not that we have a ton of progress, but still. Just, I don't like losing that organic, autonomous stuff that happens in Sims 2. That's just the best of it. Also, wait a minute. I have these custom suits. I don't ever use these, and I don't know why I have them in my game. I think I accidentally put them in a wrong spot in a folder, and they're not with, like, my other clothes. But we could just, like, go with it. Like, because I can't figure out where they are, and I haven't been able to get rid of them. Ooh, that's a very, like, modern, slick suit. It seems like a more regular, like, everyday thing. What colors? That one's got like a red. It's like a blue. Should he go a little, little, uh, maybe he's trying, trying something new. He's going to do a blue suit with a pink tie. A little, little bit of new life for consort. Let's, let's grab that one. Let me just see what else there is here. Yeah, I think the rest of the base game suits are a little boring. Let's go with that. So we bought, we bought two technically. I think I'm gonna give him the second one. Oh, yeah. There goes the pink flashing. See, it's whenever it has to load in, like, those thumbnails and stuff. It was generating thumbnails. Let's plan his everyday outfit. I'll just select the new suit. Do that. Look at you. Look at you looking slick. Oh, he wanted to buy jewelry. Um, here it is. What's he gonna buy? Oh, the pink flashing stopped, apparently. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind that. Who is hanging over here? Look at this this little outfit. Got some characters. Okay, what kind of jewelry is he? He's gonna have like a fancy watch, but you're not gonna really see it. What about a what about some rings? I don't want it to. Yeah, he's got a pinky ring. Consort's just gonna have lots of rings to look rich. There we go. We bought we bought Consort a bunch of rings. He's got himself a bunch of fancy rings to show how rich and special he is. 
Hello, sir. We would like to buy some rings to uh, make our, our new towny girlfriend uh, want us. Over here, let's change in this nice fancy mirror. Consort's getting himself all done up. Oh, I realized his his suit's actually a pinstripe suit. That's that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. Let's see. So rings. I love how I can't see what I'm selecting. <laughs> I'm just looking at his face while I'm selecting rings. I guess I'm gonna do that. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> Dang it! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so we're back. <laughs> um, this is me accidentally hitting the wrong button on this mod that lets me change clothes. So I've loaded back into the, the, the lot. <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen. What are you doing? He's annoying. Okay, consort. <laughs> um, this is chaotic. So I loaded back into the lot. No, yes. You don't go in here every day? There you go. Been here every day. I meant to just like change his outfit. He ended up naked. Anyway, we have a consort. What are you doing now? He's arguing with this random dude on the sidewalk. Leave him alone. Oh my gosh. So we are back here again. My game crashed again while I was trying to um, have consort. I was trying to use a mod that let me look up all the sims in the neighborhood and it crashed again because um, I was going to have him meet Dora again. So, here we are again. We're going to see if we can do this one more time without the game crashing. I decided to use the Sim Blender and I invited Dora over because, of course, he does not know her anymore because the game crashed while they were at the lot. So, here we are again. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a go. Um, let's just chat. They still seem to have chemistry. Ms. Dora, Otimus. We can just pretend. Girl, I swear to God, if you just walk away. Okay. Also, the man that we were fighting with earlier came, is here, so. We're gonna leave Neil alone, though. Dora, do not talk to. Are you. Oh. Okay, looks like Dora is, um, the one for us. <laughs> Let's chat. <laughs> Talk about evil things to piss people off that we like to do. Oh, what is this? It's recess time and Hermia goes out to play with the other kids when she does something incredible. She should she wins marbles. Okay, she's in high school, so I don't know about recess time, but sure. I, I don't know, distribute them. Like a Robin Hood. Hermia bring a friend home from school today. Very nice. And today is the day that Juliet will age up if I'm not mistaken, so she's got to go to college, like, right after she comes home, before I forget. She's going to be running off soon. I think they're going to be getting home soon. Oh, who did we bring home from school today? Who is this? She looks like she's, like, an NPC from a lawn. That seems like maybe a pr That's interesting. Elena Cage. Interesting. I wonder if that's, like, not a good thing, or if it's just a coincidence that she's got that outfit on. Because that was- the pop-up said that Hermia would bring home a friend. She seems to be functioning like a normal human being, so I don't know. Hello there, concert. You have a lot in common with my friend Maria Antoinette Thompson. <laughs> Mind if I give Maria Antoinette your number? I think you two would get along as well as you and I do. But we want you, Dora. We want you, Dora. Yeah, sure. Look at her. She's she's swooning over him. Why are you? Who is Maria Antoinette or Mary Antoinette or whatever it was? Who is? What do we? Do I see this person in her panel now? His panel? Oh wait, we're looking at Hermia. Huh. That's weird. I don't see this person appearing unless I'm missing somebody. Okay, I think Dora maybe uh, lied to us. Let's see what happens if we charm Dora. We gotta flirt. Oh my gosh, looks like she wanted to flirt. He wants to slow dance. I think these two need to go on a little date. I'm gonna admire. Appreciate. Let's try another charm. Back rub. Can we do a slow dance? Dance. Um, ask on date. We're gonna ask on date. We could possibly go somewhere. 
I'm afraid of the way my game's acting, though. We don't really have anywhere to go in this town anyway, so I guess they're just going to have a little at-home date with the kids <laughs> hanging out. Oh my goodness. These two are enamored. He's asked her on a date. What does he want now? Talk to her, slow dance, tickle. I'm going to leave them for a minute because we do have to go take care of Miss Juliet here. Miss Juliet needs to go off to college. We're going to have her call to see if... Oh, I hear romance happening out there. Oh my gosh. There's crushes happening. There's little hearts. Oh my goodness. What are, what, what are the chances? College. We're going to see what kind of scholarships... I don't remember if I've done this already on her. We're going to see what kind of scholarships she might have. Okay, apply for scholarships. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Juliet. You have qualified for the Orphan Sims Assistance Fund. Cool. Okay. Then, call... Oh, I don't know what that... I don't know what I just hit. Call college. Miss Juliet is off to college. Yes, she's about to leave the household. Yes, she is. How are these two doing down here? Oh, I see. Who's here? Oh, the taxi. Duh. A taxi is here. Okay, you two can stop. That's right, they were slow dancing, so they're taking a hundred years to finish the animation. Oh, I'm gonna run and say goodbye. Goodbye. Consort says goodbye. Goodbye, little Juliet. We will see you at the end of the round. We didn't really get to spend much time with you this, this time during the round, but... We'll have more sims for her to meet and possibly date in College World. Mr. Consort is finding a new a new lease on life here with his new girly friend. I, I'm gonna say it, I feel like Dora is kind of cute in a very unique way. <laughs> unique? Oh, he wants to have a dream date with her. We gotta keep going, you guys. Oh, there we go. Now we got the crush on Consort's part. Get on. <laughs> oh my gosh, this household has gotten so small. It's just two sims and a cat. Looks like we need to add Dora to it. Okay, I'm hearing I'm hearing grumbling again. Who oh, Patrizio. Patrizio has returned for our new newspaper. Okay, Patrizio. That's great. Well, you know what, Patrizio, we're on a date. We're on a date with a very nice, fine young lady named Dora. We're sitting here chatting in our new suit with our fancy rings all over our hands. Can I help you, Elena? Okay, bye, Elena. Oh, see you later. Okay, Elena. Nice knowing you. Maybe we'll try and invite over the Noosin kid, too. That's right, so tomorrow Hermia is going to age up, so she's going to head off to um, head off to college, too. Okay, you guys, can we get up and try to have a dream date? I don't know what to do to get the dream date going here. We might not accomplish it. There we go, we got more kisses going on. Before we didn't have as many kiss of it options. Propose, stay the night. I don't think consorts quite like that yet. We're going to do some, some romance. See if we can get what does she what did she want to get? Oh, appreciate him. Also we have bills to pay. We gotta pay our bills. Do lots of kisses. We're almost we're getting up to that threshold. Move in. Oh my gosh. Consort could ask her to move in, but I'm gonna wait till he gets some kind of want. Please, consort. I wanted to make you a dream date. There we go. Now we get it just a little bit. Oh my gosh. Make out. Quick. Oh my gosh, we got the dream date. Holy cow, finally. We're just gonna do some more stuff. We'll spam him. Who's gonna serenade? Let's have consorts. Oop, let's have him. Hermia, can I help you? Can you? Oh, they're best buddies. That's nice. Okay, apparently Hermia's gonna sit there. Are you trying to sleep, Hermia? You need to, you need to come up here. How about you do... Are you, you're not that tired. Do your homework. And then you can go to bed. What are these two doing? I got oh, their their dates are like maxed out. That's good. 
Oh, she wants to make out with consort. I'm gonna lock that in. Put these two crazy kids on their date. Where's she going? Oh no, not Hermia walking through Dora. That got weird. Where are you going, Dora? Where are you headed, Dora? Where's she going? Going to the bathroom? Okay. Well, that was quite the choice, considering there's a little bathroom right down here. She routed all the way up there. I guess technically this was closer to down here. Whatever. <laughs> We're probably going to end our date soon. Oh, the cat. How's the cat doing? Have you chewed up anything? <gasps> the cat doesn't like Dora. He's got an X through Dora's face. What do you know? What do you know about Dora, cat? Hold on, Dora. We're washing things. I know you just have unbridled passion for us. Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. We had our dream date. Very nice. Oh, there's some real love happening now. Oh, what happened? What is going on? Why is she in here? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. They were they were doing a dance, and then they got. Okay, I'm confused about what just happened. They got they fell in love, I guess. I'm gonna lock in this one about creativity skill because I think writing his book is gonna help that. He wants a vacation home. I don't know if you have quite enough money. Speaking of money, so we're gonna tell we're gonna say goodbye to our our new girly friend Dora. We're gonna go get the mail, pay the bills, consort. Okay, buddy, I don't think jump roping in the street is the best option at midnight. What is the cat's issue here? The cat's got problems. Okay, I'm gonna not not worry about that right now. We're gonna send Consort to sleep. Hermia, I would like for you to go to sleep. Oh look, Dora just came right back with a big bouquet for us. How kind of you, Dora. Very nice, okay. Well, this has been an interesting episode, I would say. I think I'm going to leave this episode here for now. We've only accomplished like a couple of days, if that. More, not even really a couple. But uh, yeah, Hermia will be going to college next time. We uh, are leaving for college next time we play. And we'll be stuck with Consort. And hopefully maybe Miss Dora will be joining him pretty soon to make this uh, household a little more full again. We've got, we're going to have lots of empty rooms. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.